This place is one of the few places that caters to the up and coming artist. This is mostly touring acts. You know, most of the bands that come through here, they're not at the point where they're selling out the arenas, but they've outgrown their hometowns. And this place is where you can really go and get up close and see a great show for a band that could be the next big band. We always like to say that we catch them like on their way up. You know, we see a lot of like the artists that I've seen here, like play the Ryman is like the like one of the next steps. As musicians and that come to town, I mean, they're all grasping to 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 hear and grow. Everybody that's coming here to be artists, which is almost everybody, you know, they would go there when they would find out that good songwriters were playing there and go there and just kind of go to school on these incredible writers that would be one at a time playing this incredible music. Third and Lindsley is sort of known for, for the variety of music. Uh, they have everything in here from bluegrass to blues to rock and roll to country music. You get to see a lot of really cool shows with a lot of really cool artists showing up and, and either just getting on stage and playing with somebody or just jamming. It's, you know, it's, I mean, I've seen some great shows at Third and Lindsley. Somebody's off the road and they're wanting to do some oddball thing on a Tuesday or Wednesday. And you just stumble in there and you're like, oh, my God, man, I can't believe that. Oh, look, here comes Delbert McClinton. No, oh, that's all. Here's hey, Cheryl Crow's up there playing. Like, you just never know who's going to show up and jump in to a set at that Third and Lindsley. You come in here and, and there's names I've never heard or, or seen before. And they come out and, and play like unreal. We had Chris Stapleton here. Like, he, the first year I worked here, he played our Halloween show, and that was in 2014. And then, like, now he's selling out arenas. I remember standing in one of the balconies for Leon Bridges and he was performing one of his songs, I think it was River, and it was like you could hear like a pin drop in the room. Like everybody was silent. Everybody was paying attention. Way back in the day, like Keith Urban had a band and their band would play the ramps called The Ranch and they played around little small venues. And I mean, the labels knew where all those places were around town. And then Third and Lindsay was definitely one of the top hot spots. Lady Annabellum, they were playing here like weekly for months, you know, forever, and they still come back. Third and Lindsley is one of those great places to return to. I played a show at Americana Fest, and following my set was Brandy Carlisle and Tanya Tucker. And to someone who's maybe not familiar with this scene, you'd be like, wow, can't believe they were playing there. But if you know Nashville and you know the caliber of all these venues and how many people these venues have seen, you wouldn't be too surprised to see legends like them on stage. Third and Lindsley is like a staple for all the people in the music row, music industry here in Nashville.